We're all familiar with TV shows about cars and driving, but how do you translate that into online? We've come to meet TV star Richard Hammond to talk about his new startup, Drive Tribe. So Richard, what is Drive Tribe? Drive Tribe is a place where anybody with a self-professed interest in cars can gather. And that's quite a big ask because it's a massive subject. Within that, there's a million different tribes and that's what we've based it on. And other people have tried to uh, collate the online community for car enthusiasts. What are you doing differently with Drive Tribe? Us three idiots are kind of quite well known. We know as a brand within motoring. We realise, well, that's an advantage that we have over anybody else who's tried to do it before. The second key piece to it is the tribal nature of the subject. You don't just say, I like cars. Well, well what aspect? We worked hard to make Drive Tribe a place that people come and share content, but that content isn't always you know, long form written articles with beautiful photographs. It's all about connecting people with what they want to see and what they want to contribute themselves. It's about putting the right content in and that generating more content and more importantly it then going out and finding the right people because a lot of the, the content being let's say an idea that's come out of a conversation between two people who are fans of original minis. That idea has only been generated thanks to, to the way this machine, this place works. That's really exciting. You've gone from the world of TV presenting to the tech world. What's it been like? Drive Tribe has been just the biggest and most exciting learning curve I've ever been on. For a start, the whole digital business side of it, digital entrepreneurship is a fascinating field and still developing, but also the tech itself. For me to learn how just because it's a tech business doesn't mean it's distilled down entirely into zeros and ones. It's still organic. It's still got people at its heart. Um, things still take time to build and then have to be pressure and load tested. I thought, well, it's digital, isn't it? It either works or it doesn't. Well, no, some things do work, but then they work better in a different way. There's, there's nuancing, subtlety and finessing to be done when I thought it was all about absolutes. At TechCrunch, we're always talking about driverless cars. Will Drive Tribe have a role in the era of driverless cars? We're asked all the time, what's going to happen when it's electric cars and hydrogen fuel cell cars? Well, that means it's the most exciting time to be talking about cars. I don't think there's been a more exciting time. Manufacturers are going to make mistakes, that's hilarious. There's going to be new ideas. There's a new plant opening up now. They're looking at new hydrogen fuel cell storage. Well, that's really exciting. And driverless cars come under the same thing. The business of moving from place to place, the business of being in command of a vehicle or of owning a vehicle, that's about display, about power. It's primal. It'll always be there. So no matter how effectively and efficiently I can get to my house this evening in a driverless car, there will always be days where part of me thinks, yeah, but I'd rather drive myself. And if that's what I as a consumer want, that's what I'll get. That's what we'll all get. So there will be driverless cars, but they won't replace or render extinct the cars that we drive ourselves because it's something we'll always want to do.